Tagum City is in the southern Philippines island of Mindanao. Between 1998 and 2013, it was the center of a vicious death squad which have operated under the auspices of the Tagum City government, specifically the former mayor, Ray Ui. Mayor Ui organized the death squad as a means to rid Tagum City of what he referred to as weeds, what he saw as undesirables, street children, uh, petty criminals, alleged drug dealers. And in most cases, these killings were perpetrated in broad daylight, in complicity and at the knowledge of local police. <laughs> Okay, pa kanaugan man min lag sa isa ka semana ka duha ka tulo sir. Para da Olympion lagi ang tabo ng atong giang atong nga preso nga mga kawatan, mga tulisan or katong mga uban pa nga mga kriminalidad di sir nga Mayor Ui created an official cover for the Tagum Death Squad. He employed the Death Squad members in something called the Civilian Security Unit within City Hall in Tagum City. As members of the Civilian Security Unit, the Death Squad got government-supplied handguns, they got government-supplied motorcycles, all the equipment they needed to perpetrate these killings. Ram Minta is one of three former Tagum Death Squad hitmen that Human Rights Watch interviewed and who gave us a forensic accounting of how the Death Squad works. I didn't text messages when I was Mayor. I didn't text messages when I text messages I didn't text messages Ruli sir nya si Ruli pang forward nan asa mo sir ni paasa pa ipatarbaho na nan sir pag humagtarbaho sir mo text me kang Ruli or kang si o sir nga sir umana to to ato an tarbaho karon sir mo reply ra si Emir okay ara sir nya madto mi silang balay sir mo to nay additional ta 5000 kada ulo da sir si Emir sir mismo sir para gan sir ni sir Around 2005, Death Squad members started to freelance their uh, contract killing uh, activities and began targeting other individuals in the community. And as a result, we had uh, victims including a judge, a journalist, a local tribal leader. Nikalit lang nga ni Boto. Nunya, abi na ko pagtuon ako, nga naplatan lang mi. Karun, ning anak ko sa akong ulo nga nga pagka nako nagdunggan naman nako nga nagaan nagaan na yang dugo nga nagaan nagdungoy naman siya nagkabantay ko nga dunay motor nagsig sunod-sunod nako paglingi nako sa side mirror duol na magyugay sila aksyon ko glingi kay tanaw nako kinsa ang nagsunod sa ko ha buto na lang ako na dungog gipusil ko nila sa ikaduha ka igayon relatives of victims or eyewitnesses of Tagum Death Squad killings uh, were very often intimidated uh, by the police into not complaining and into not filing police reports. <laughs> Ana man sila nga kinahanglan daw mi mananghid sa ilaha para makabalo sila kung kinsa na itarbaho para dili na lang po daw maimbestigahan pa. Mayor Ui left office in early 2013, but he remains an extremely powerful and influential figure in Mindanao. But the fact is, is that he is implicated in extremely serious crimes in the operations of the Tagum Death Squad. 
President Aquino needs to make clear explicitly, loudly, and repeatedly that this type of extrajudicial killing approach to crime control is unacceptable in the Philippines.